It's about culture. It's about tradition. It's really not about the past. It's about the future. For those who, who you know, we can talk about the past. You can't change the past. But you can alter the future. This is really about the future. It's really not. It's about these young folk. All of them over here playing basketball and not understanding a word we say. It's really about them. All of them over here playing basketball and not understanding a word that we're saying. I'm talking about all of them playing basketball and not understanding what we are saying over here. That's what this is about. Yeah, they're not here because they don't know. They don't understand the history. Not just young folk, but most folk. Not just young folk, but most folk don't understand what we had to endure. The history is here. It's here. We ain't, we're not stupid people. This, be, this doesn't belong to a legal entity. It doesn't belong to a legal corporation. It belongs to a community. Do you not allow somebody to, to, to dissolve your heritage? Who does that? Come on, y'all. And I told somebody the other day, they said, well, you know what? It's about Burgundy. I said, no, it's not. The NCC has never been All just about families Burgundy. families that benefited from the NCC. And multiply that, from the fam to multiply that with the families that benefited from the NCC. And then multiply that with the families and the individuals that benefited through piano, through dance, through basketball, through personal development, through after school, through, through community organizations being created. If we really just look at the NCC just from so that folk will have a place to go to understand what we had to do to get through, to overcome to get over, to endure, to persevere. We need that place. Now, if somebody else has, if somebody has a plan, let them bring it here. Save the NCC. Save the NCC. Save the NCC. It has an enormous symbolism for the community, the black community of Greater Montreal, for the citizens and the community you see in Burgundy right now. We understand that and we want to accompany you, we want to accompany the community so that this building remains an institution. We don't want it to see, to see it to be condos, we want it to see an institution for the community. When I want to go and have an evening reading black history books, I go to NCC. Whatever they have, I was there. Even though I'm working two jobs, I know my children were safe. So today, on behalf of the coalition, which I'm a founding member, we always had NCC as part of our program to revitalize it. And we ask in the community at large, Please, join together in peace and love and unity. I used to come and eat my dinner here because we live too far. Now, I remember this building before it was the NCC. And I used to come down here and play basketball. We had fun in this building. And it should never, I mean never, should be taken away. And a lot of people have passed through them doors. I remember Mrs. and Mr. Clyde when they were running it. And they respected everybody and everybody respected them. Now from the bottom floor to the top floor, there was activities. 
lunch, movies. The second floor had, like everybody says, music. They had a stage up there. Third floor. You had something happening up on the third floor, which was the game room. And on up at the top was another game. every floor had something that was for the children. That the NCC actually started as an idea since 1927 in the basement of the Union United Church. The idea of the NCC was to help the social and economic issues and needs and um, wants of the black community. The NCC stands for a lot of things, but, what, but to name a few, it stands for the spirit, the determination, identity, pride, integrity, and integrity that has shaped the Montreal black community. I know a lot of people that have benefited past, present, and hopefully in the future from the NCC. Um, I would just like to say now to end it that we should that we are standing here together on this glorious day to commemorate what the multi the Montreal's multi-ethnic community the inspiring inspiring cultural heritage that it has that it has it has shown us and will continually hopefully to show us that we can benefit from so everyone just put your hands together for let's save the NCC I can't hear you guys louder Let's save the NCC. Thank you. Every second I breathe, there's someone dying, and I helplessly can't do anything because life, I'm just denying. My father told me I can be anything I want to be changing lives and taking problems on to reality. I'm just trying to survive and relive this truth about actuality. This rhyme is going insane, but this is my mentality. Now, sit back, relax, take a second and relate back to the words that I speak, this abuse of verbal attack. See, this is meant to be, standing on stage, sitting down, listening as we age. Time flies by and thoughts wander on my page. Workers and teachers and fighters and preachers working hard at minimum wage. They are the creators of our future leaders. We, not me, are the future leaders. So get yourself up and move because I believe to improve. Every day is a struggle contemplating to pursue my goals. Open these eyes and watch reality unfold. In between all these cracks cause I'm just leaving these gaps behind me trying to forget the past. I'm just walking around speaking these thoughts that are just bound to be spoken and these gates are open to fantasies that are broken and hopeless to leave others unspoken. This motive is devotion clustered up with emotion. So much pain and regret leaves me frozen inside. A lot of places that we go to, I find that I'm on stages and a lot of places that we go to where we are standing here together in unification trying to make sure we can preserve what we should not have to fight to preserve for in the first place. And it happens all the time, over and over. So we need to be proud and we need to be vigilant and we need to make sure that we come together and that in unison, we make our voice really strong that says, uh-uh, you are not taking it. Uh-uh, we are gonna make sure that we are on top of these kinds of things so that people don't come in in the middle of the night. Because I come from a place where Africville was. And for those of you who know, right? And they went in the middle of the night and tore down churches and tore down all of our communities and little babies woke up to nothing and just now we're starting to get something back from that and that was many many years ago people have passed on elders whose hearts were broken because their community was taken from them people just saw a house but we knew that it was the spirit that was taken from them and people who were called lawmakers came in and broke laws and took those things from our moms and our dads and our grandparents and when we have something that belongs to us and we have something that belongs to our community and is something that reflects our history and reflects our culture to the people to trust their own